A mix of heartbreak and hope is what one family is feeling tonight after a breakthrough in the search for a missing woman. Rosemary Rodriguez disappeared two years ago. Police found her car in a wooded area of Gregg County last night with human remains inside. Our Sean Delmeniz talked to Rosemary's daughters about the discovery. Rosemary Rodriguez vanished without a trace in October of 2019. For years, her family and community searched for any clue that might at least tell them where she was. Her daughters, Francis and Lita, got that clue Thursday night while they were both working. I was not expecting to find or for anyone to to find anything. Investigators pulled their mother's car from the woods, not far from where she went missing in the Mount Pisgah area near Kilgore. There were human remains in the car, not yet confirmed to be Rodriguez. When they came back and told us, we were just both kind of like... Just sort of broke down Yeah, and, and held each other for a minute and just cried. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's been a very difficult two years of waiting to have any kind of answers. Rodriguez was last seen leaving her boyfriend's house wearing her Walmart work attire, a company smock and blue jeans. A GoFundMe page dedicated to finding her says on October 8th, the co-worker called her family to let them know she didn't report to work for two days. As time went on, her daughters realized they may never get closure. And on the anniversary of them reporting their mother missing, Lita's husband died. I promise to her mom, she would always make us even as little girls, like no matter what, I'm gonna always take care of my sister. Like, so what's your job to take care of my sister? So that's what I've been doing. And these experiences have brought them closer than ever. With a renewed bond, they continue to search for answers for their mom. So I'm very grateful that we at least now have this clue and can continue to uh, hopefully find out what happened to her. Yeah, who's responsible? In Longview, Sean Delmeniz, CBS 19. The Gregg County Sheriff's Office says it'll give another update on the case once it determines the identity of those remains.